Have you ever wondered what makes up the parts of a wave? Join me as I talk about what a wave is and its parts. A wave is a disturbance that transfers energy from one source to another. There are two main types of waves, transverse and longitudinal. Transverse waves move perpendicular to the direction of the disturbance, like shaking a rope up and down. Light waves and earthquake S waves are types of transverse waves. Longitudinal waves move parallel to the direction of the disturbance, causing the particles to compress and rarefy like a slinky being pushed and pulled. Sound waves and earthquake P waves are types of longitudinal waves. Knowing the different parts of a wave help us to understand a wave's properties. Transverse waves have a wavelength, which is the distance between two consecutive crests or troughs. A crest is the highest point of a wave, while a trough is the lowest point. The amplitude of a transverse wave is the distance from a resting position, the equilibrium, to the crest or trough. It's the height of the wave. Longitudinal waves also have a wavelength, which is the distance between two compressions or rarefractions. A compression is a region where the particles are close together, creating a higher density, while a rarefraction is the region where the particles are spread apart, creating a lower density. The amplitude of a longitudinal wave is the amount of compression or rarefraction from the resting position. While transverse waves create crests and troughs with a specific wavelength and amplitude, longitudinal waves form compressions and rarefractions with their own wavelength and amplitude, all from their resting position. Now these parts of a wave help us determine the wave's properties of frequency, speed, and energy.